Good bless you. Good morning, everybody, on this Saturday, August 22nd. And today was supposed to be Neil's move in day, and it is not. He got a confirmation from his last teacher. He was going to be 100% virtual this year, or this semester, not the whole year, but this semester. He's going to be 100% virtual. I have a buttercup down here beside me, and I have a dear husband over there, too. Anywho, um, instead of going to Kutztown to take Neil to college, we're going to go to Maryland to get some wine for John. Well, road trip for me. <laughs> I really like road trips. We're going to take a road trip for me, and then uh, John's going to get some wine. So Wednesday is now here, and once I'm loving. Say hi, say hi world. I'm Wednesday. I'm Wednesday. I love the human attention. I love all the attention. Yes, I do. I love it. It's my favorite. All right, anyway, good morning. It is 11 o'clock, but it's still morning. It's not afternoon yet. Um, I made breakfast for everybody. I made John and Neil some pancakes and then eggs all around for everybody. Nick, Neil, John, and I all had eggs. So, um, and I'm not, I can't do like, I'm not good at like making, you know, bunches and bunches of stuff. So, you know, I made the pancakes first, then I made John's fried eggs, then I made Neil's fried eggs, then I made Nick's scrambled eggs, then I made my scrambled eggs. I could have probably made John's and Neil's um, fried eggs at the same time. Um, I probably had enough space in the frying pan, but it's fine. I got it all done. So we are about to get on the road. I'm happy Neil's home. Sad that he doesn't get to drive, um, move into his um, college dorm room, but I'm happy that he's home. So anyway, my orders from Kohl's that I made. Did I tell you guys I made an order from Kohl's earlier in like last week? I think I told you I had to go pick some stuff up, but the stuff that had to be shipped is coming in now. Um, I have one more thing uh, that's coming in. I have a pair of uh, Dickies brand pants that are coming in today. They're supposed to arrive today. I had some jeans that I got from Dickies that came yesterday. I also bought some Levi or Lee, I think they're Levi. Levi jeans that actually um, are pretty comfortable. And yeah, so that, um, the last item for that is coming in today. I also have some Kohl's cash I have to spend for my order by tomorrow. So I don't know when we're going to do that. I don't, the problem that I have with Kohl's is they give you this, this Kohl's cash, which they treat as a discount instead of a form of payment. They treat it as a discount. So when you, when you order off their website, you have to have an order of $75 or more for free shipping. And if say you say I have $30 in Kohl's cash and I order $80 worth of stuff, once I put the Kohl's cash in, it brings the value down to 50 and then I have to pay for shipping. So I, I think it's stinky that they use it as, instead of using it as like a payment type, they use it as a coupon or a discount code, which is kind of stinky from my perspective. That's just me. So, anywho, um, yeah, we're gonna be spending the next several hours driving to Maryland and back again. Um, and then later on this afternoon or this evening, by the time we get home, I think we're just gonna do hamburgers or hot dogs because that's what we were supposed to do last night and didn't end up doing that because of, um, you know, John and I not feeling really great. So we ended up just getting the Arby's last night, but um, we're gonna do hamburgers and hot dogs tonight. And I might do some cleaning. I also might film a get ready with me using my beauty box makeup for this week as well. I don't know, we'll see. We're gonna play it by ear. So, anyway, my hair's doing something funky like it always does. What is this? I have hair growing in, which is fantastic. But, like, I have a couple of hairs that, like, just stick out right here. But it's good that the hair's growing in. I also have a lot of hair, like, underneath here that's only about four inches long that's growing in as well. So I'm actually really thankful that I'm getting uh, regrowth after I was losing so much hair, like, two years ago when I first started going on keto. Um, I'm really happy that I'm getting a lot of good uh, regrowth. Oh, he just walked by the door. He didn't come in. Anyway, that's it for now. Like, we're going to get on, go ahead and get on the road. And I will see you guys probably not until we get back because I'm going to be driving because I like to drive. I like to drive. So I will see you guys when we get back. Well, y'all, Nick is going to bed. You can at least see his ear there. Yeah, that's his ear. It is a couple minutes after 10 o'clock and Nick is going to bed now. And I know I haven't talked to you all day, but honestly... 
we had quite the adventure going to Maryland. Yeah, the Maryland was long. It wasn't a bad adventure. It just we drove Neil past the Blue House because we're still considering the Blue House and it is still on the market. So we drove Neil past the Blue House, then we drove to Maryland and John got a case of wine. And then we drove back, but we didn't like rush it, you know what I mean? And then we got home and we had well we stopped at a farmer's market on the way home and got some like fresh fruits and vegetables and stuff yes and then we came home john grilled hamburgers and hot dogs in the garage because it started downpouring shortly after we got home right. did you ever get the grill in no but i'm not too worried about it okay well the grill's sitting on the front porch so anyhow um we had hamburgers and hot dogs for dinner and corn on the cob this is the only time of the year that i really enjoy corn on the cob because it's fresh off the stocks here in uh, pennsylvania so mm -hmm. we had corn on the cob we actually got a dozen so we had some tonight we're gonna have some more tomorrow so not really on my low carb diet today i'm not terrible like i'm not like, eating everything in sight i didn't have um you know a whole bunch of stuff but i did have corn on the cob and you know it's okay it was okay to have some days where i'm not perfect as long as i don't go way out of whack uh, and do it like every day so we uh but we had corn on the cob today was the corn on the cob good i thought it tasted good i thought it was actually really really good um <clears throat> fresh corn on the cob right off of the stalks is always very very tasty um <clears throat> and then nick and i watched a movie what movie did we watch sing we watched sing we sat back here and watched sing and Nick and I sang along while John and Neil watched. Were you watching wrestling? They were watching wrestling in the living room. So, but Nick and I watched sing, and then he watched Impractical Jokers. Right? So it's called. Yep. He watched Impractical Jokers in here. I was sitting here as well, but I was looking at head, trying to find houses some more, and yeah. And that brings us to ten o'clock. I'm exhausted. I don't know that I told you guys I didn't sleep real well last night. I was up. I woke up at like 2.15 in the morning. No, I'm not the one that needs ibuprofen. Dad needs ibuprofen. Which is over there, which is yeah. in business. So I got up at like 2.15 in the morning and it took me two hours to fall back asleep. So I ended up getting about six and a half hours of sleep. Um, but it was split with two hours in the center. I actually got about four hours of sleep and then I was up for two hours and then I got about two and a half hours more sleep after I was up in the middle of the night. So that kind of sucked. Um, but six and a half is better than the four that I did get and I thought I wasn't going to get any more because I was having a really hard time falling back asleep. So um, Neil's already in bed with Wednesday and we're about to put Nicholas and Buttercup to bed. So my last pair of pants from Kohl's came today. I have money. I have Kohl's cash, which I have to spend tomorrow. So I'm not sure if Neil needs any clothes. You're okay, right? You got plenty of clothes. Um, but like, you know, undergarments, socks, that kind of thing. Um, like I just bought socks. That's one of the things that I actually bought. And I bought uh, a couple pairs of jeans. Um, because since I've lost all my weight, I only bought two pairs of jeans. The one I have on now, and then I have another pair of jeans. And I've been alternating them with, like, sleepy pants and, you know, that sort of stuff. Sweatpants and that sort of stuff. Um, I didn't want to buy a lot of jeans because I was hoping to continue to lose more weight. I seem to have stagnated, stagnated in, like, the 210-pound range. 210, 215 pounds. Which is very upsetting to me, but... It's fine. Anyway, I bought a couple couple pairs of jeans and I bought a pair of uh, work work pants, Dickies work pants. They're just black. Um, but I figured they would be, you know, last a long time. That's my guess. Because Dickies, if you've ever had any Dickies pants, John had a couple pairs of Dickies pants. And they lasted like five, eight years, something like Like they lasted a really long time. Most of my jeans usually only last like two or three years. But... All the Dickies that he's ever owned have lasted like between five and ten years. So I bought two pairs of Dickies, a pair of jeans, a pair of work pants. So I haven't tried the work pants on yet. Um, they're sitting at my feet right now. <clears throat> I'm a little concerned <clears throat> because when I pulled them out of the package, they had that attached. It's taped to it. 
and the date on it is March 2nd of 2020. So somebody bought these and returned them to a store. Doesn't say which store, like there's a store number on it. So I'm assuming if I could, if I knew like the store number, I could look it up. But like all the tags are attached and stuff. Um, even like this tag is like the one that comes from the manufacturer and you can see it wasn't like, that has not been removed. So unless Kohl's has some way of, re of reattaching that, which it doesn't look like it was, um, you know, they had not been worn. So I haven't tried them on yet. My assumption is somebody did like I did, ordered them online, because this is not, these ones, the black pants that I have right here, these are online exclusive, and that's actually what this tag says. It says, Nicholas, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it actually says web exclusive on it. Right there, it says web exclusive. So these are online only. So my guess is that somebody bought them online, tried them on, they didn't fit, and returned them, so. It's okay. I don't I don't like to wear new clothes without washing them anyway. So, I'll try them on. If they fit, I will wash them and wear them. If they do not fit, I will return them. So, there's that. Mm. You have a hole in your sock right there. Mm. Looks like those socks have got to go. It's just a little one and it's just got nude. It's a little one and it just got what? It is new. It's a new hole. No, it's so, not a new hole. I mean, it's new. These socks were new. They're from they're aren't they from Christmas? Probably, yes. And then now they're broke. So they're nine months old almost. Yes. They've lasted pretty long. Nine months for Nick, and especially they're, them being dress socks. He, he likes fancy socks. Yes. So they're dress socks. So dress socks don't last as long as, like, sports socks do. Anyway, um, so I'm going to try those pants on probably before bed. And that's where we're at, at the end of our Saturday. Tomorrow we are going to my mother-in-law's house. And then coming home. We'll see what I do. I'm not gonna promise anything for Epic Beauty Fail because I've just been so tired. And if I don't sleep all tonight, honestly, I'm just not. If I don't sleep all tonight, I have an idea. Think I'd be proven. Ibuprofen doesn't help you sleep, babe. Ibuprofen helps dad because he's in a lot of pain because of his kidney stone. Well, what helps you sleep then? Sleeping pills, which I'm not going to take. I don't have any sleeping pills. I think we have some melatonin. Melatonin? Out in the kitchen, but who knows if that actually works. Isn't that it? Melatonin? That's the stuff from turkeys? Yes, but no, that's tryptophan. Oh. Melatonin is not from turkeys. Tryptophan is from is from turkeys, but melatonin is something that is supposed to help you sleep. Anyway, but well, mostly turkeys are in November. You can eat turkey all year long if you want. I like turkey. It's very tasty, especially if you brine it. It's very very tasty. Like brine turkey. Yes, okay. brine turkey. Do you know what brine is? No. It's like a salt water bath for the turkey. Ugh. Anyway. So it's mostly salt water turkey. Yeah, kind of. That is it for us on this Saturday, August. What day is it? Twenty second, Nick. Twenty second. Yeah. So, are you thank? What are you thankful for today? Sit up here and don't say mom. You always say mom. Although I appreciate that. You. Nope. <laughs> say something else. What are you thankful for today? Dad. Dad. Being safe. Dad's being safe. I know you're worried about dad because of his kidney stones. I'm worried about that dad too. The holidays. Well, they're and coming you. up. And you. I'll never stop saying I am you. I love you, my son. You're a sweetheart. Let's sweet keep you that way. All, the sweets. all right, you ready to close out the vlog? Ready as a baloney. Ready as a what? Ready as a baloney. Ready as baloney. Ready as a droodle. I don't like baloney. All right. I hope today was better than yesterday. Well, tomorrow will be just a bit better than today. I hope y'all are having a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> All right, guys. Adios. Bye. Adios. Bye. 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 Bye.